Notice that I am not uh, modeling this apron. This is for April from Tennessee. She's a female. And Michelle, tell us about it. So it's my turn to get to wear the aprons and show them off. It's pretty exciting. Um, so hello to April. And we are also recording for YouTube. That way we can get a little bit more information about our aprons on YouTube. So this is going out to April. And yes, April is a female. So during the video chat, I do a little bit of extra time talking about the fit of the apron, the cut of the apron, actually draw a whole another template on top of it. That way there's choices that it, women are not sized the same whatsoever. So men's clothes do not fit the same and I take that into account. Um, especially sure being does. one myself. And for sewing for like over 40 years, I have a little bit of experience in understanding how to cut things and change things and customize. And that's why we make aprons. So we want to talk about aprils. Where do you want to start, Rochelle? Let's start up at the top. So first of all, we have the ring for safety glasses because that's definitely something that you need to have in your shop. And then the writing utensils. And then I put the slits in here for double stacking pencils. Show us those real quick. So you can put a smaller pencil in there, that way when your pencil gets smaller, it doesn't get lost down in that pocket. We're going to talk about this one here. Is There is a magnet on the front, and April saw this on another apron that we made, and she likes how that magnet is capturing this tool really tight into the pocket. And then she also wanted a second magnet down here. I bet you can take that anchor tool out there and put in another magnet, couldn't you? This one here. Oh, wow. Pretty Keep cool. going. That's cool. Pretty cool. And then this one here is for her cheater glasses when she's in the shop and she needs to switch out a little bit. And what this is, is a safe place to put them. Is that a brand right there? Isn't it cool? Wow. Yeah. Not all hides have them, so it's really cool when we get an apron and we get to include the um, brand on it. Let's take a look what's down on the side. So we custom make the pockets to fit the tools that you need. That's why you're going to see on every apron is not the same tool setup. It's for what this person needs. We take the time to do the video chat and we find out what tools you're gonna need. So we got a cell phone here. So you're gonna see that we have two tape measure clip areas. This one is for the tape measure and this is for when April wants to switch out to a folding knife or even a drill. And we have a combination square down over here and then our curved pocket. And this is so that you can easily scoop the debris out of the pocket and then it has the accessory pocket on the front so you can hold screws or even the safety key to your power tools. Absolutely. Or Festool dominoes, hinges, screws. Yep. It's, our... it's a utility pocket. I usually put my block plane in there sometimes when I need it. And that way it's flexible whenever you're moving and there's not a tool in it. So I want to show you how the back is cut. It's cut for a female. And like I said, we go into deep discussion about that during the video chat. And the crossbody system is going to distribute the weight of the tools and the leather apron across your body. That way it's not heavy for you. So we're real excited to send this out to April and we can't wait to see it in use. All right. Thank you, April. It's coming your way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Michelle is wearing this apron, so it's going out to Anna from Tennessee. This was a gift from her uncle, Ronnie. Ronnie is also a client of ours, and he thought it would be a great idea. We just want to mention that we do offer gift certificates on our website. It's pretty cool that this was a gift. I'm really happy to hear that, that this is the second apron in one family. Yes. That her uncle thought it was that valuable of a tool that he wanted Anna to have one also. Uh, we also wanted to highlight that you can tell I'm wearing the apron, which means this is a female apron which is a whole different ball game because women do not fit into men's clothing the same. And this is where my experience comes into play that I actually draw a whole nother template onto the fabric template you wear during the video chat. That way I can capture the exact measurements that are gonna make this fit on a female perfectly. Absolutely. It's not cookie cutter. You don't have to live with an apron that might fit you, that might work. It's going to fit you. So let's zoom in here on Anna's apron and let's start off with, there are some uh, really cool brands on this apron. Look at these brands right here. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So what do we have going on here in these pockets? So, so we got some cool features on this apron as you can see, first of all, that the magnet is in the vertical position. She didn't want it down on the lower end, so we put it up on the side and that was Anna's idea. 
And then we have this triple stack pocket over here. She kind of triple wanted, stack pockets. She kind of wanted a miscellaneous uh, assortment there. So utility knife, and then it was kind of these are open so that anything could fit in it. And then you can see that there are two tape measure clips. We'll talk about that in a moment, but this was also her idea. And this one is going to be for a phone and then a miscellaneous pocket up here. So this one could be for tape measure on that side, a folding sure. knife, tape measure on this side. But let me show you this cool feature is we have a Festal C15 drill and you can just hang it right on your apron. Wow, look, look how handy that is. Without even looking, I pulled it right off there. Here, give me that magnet. Show them how the, the magnet, so you were changing out your drill bits from your driver or your pre-drilling. Or now I need a screw. It's just right here. Back on here in case you're up on a ladder. That way you don't have to go up and down. Everything is right here where you need to be. Carry some extra screws or bits down in here. Yes. Whatever you're assembling. Awesome. Good. So just to recap really quick, Michelle can tailor Custom bespoke aprons for the female, not a problem. She's been doing it for 40 years, over 40. Over. Our daughter has not worn any dress to a formal dance that Michelle hasn't made. Custom. <laughs> yes, that we have not changed up to make it personalized. Yep. Same as your apron. All right, Anna. Well, this is going out to you. Enjoy it. Scully says hi. We can't wait to see it on you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.